Engaging celebrity interviews. Exciting updates from Christian filmmakers. Movie reviews so you can choose your movies wisely. And so much more here on Faith on Film with Isaac Hernandez and Holly McClure. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Faith on Film. Thank you for joining us today. You know, I'm so excited because we have a jam-packed show for you today. We have four interviews for you, uh, but we are going to kick it off with Holly talking with Roma Downey. Now, Roma is uh, here to talk to us about a show, a series uh, available on Amazon Prime this March 28th uh, called The Baxters. The Baxters is based on a, bo a book series uh, by none other than Karen Kingsbury, so you know it's going to be a wonderful series. So let's go first to the trailer and then from there, we're going to go right on to Holly interviewing Roma Downey. One, two, three, Baxter! I'm a little worried about Carrie and Tim. They don't look at each other the same way anymore. Something's bothering you. I have been struggling. Carrie. I have built my whole world around you. Tim is in love with another woman. I keep going over it in my mind, and I have no idea how we got to this point. I don't know why you want to stay with him. I'm fighting for my marriage. I get you made a commitment to Tim. You don't know anything about commitment. You can't commit to anything. Have you talked to Ryan? Gary, if you ever need someone to talk to, you know I'm only a phone call away, right? Why did you come back? To save our marriage. If it's still what you want. You cannot move beyond this guilt until you find the courage to allow yourself to just feel. Forgiveness happens once. Healing takes a lifetime. You're my sister. You have always been there for me. I'm still scared. But you're not alone. We're your family. It fills our hearts to know that we can be here for you. Hi, Rama. It's been a long time. How are you? I'm very good, Holly. Nice to see you look beautiful. Thank you. You do too, as always. It's, I think it's been since Ben Hur the last time. We did the Bible series and other shows and things, but you look lovely as always. So Thank excited you. to be interviewing I cut you. Cut all my hair off. Yeah, especially. I like it. It looks so good. Yes. Different, but it looks good. And you're, of course, are you in your beautiful home right there in Malibu overlooking I the am ocean? Indeed. Yes. Yeah. Tell you. <laughs> Tell you. Well, I was, first of all, you look great. I love the hair. So it looks good. I was excited to see the Baxters because, first of all, Great show. 20 years, Karen Kingsbury has been having this book that's been so popular and so many. So it's wonderful to see it now in a TV series. And excited for you. Is this a different role for you to play? It was a different role for me to play, you know, and I didn't even expect to play it because when I first read the book, I came to the project really as a fan. I read the first book. A friend gave me redemption. I couldn't put the book down. I thought the story was so compelling. I reached out to Karen immediately and said, please, please allow me to option <laughs> this book in this series to adapt it to TV. And uh, and she agreed. And, you know, it's just been a blessing to bring this t great book series to the screen. And um you know, we we as we were casting, Karen said, would you not consider stepping in front of the camera yourself? We haven't seen you since Touched by an Angel, really, and we'd love to see you in the role. So anyway, there was so much about Elizabeth Baxter that I resonated with. She has a mother's heart. She's loves her children fiercely. She's got compassion and empathy. She's patient. You know, she's a woman, really. I could only hope to be like she sets the bar quite high, to be honest. But what I love most really is that she's a prayer warrior and I have seen and felt the power of prayer work through my own lives. And I love that about this. I love this yes. about the show. I loved it about the books. It doesn't shy away from that. They are a family of faith unapologetically. And we just really see how the themes of redemption, strength, forgiveness, love, hope, just weave their way through the whole series and uh, and it plays out rather uniquely on the screen. And you actually pray 
on the show, which is kind of rare these days to see a show where people are genuinely trying to get problems. You know? I would think, you know, it's true. We hardly ever see a family who stops. Now, for Christian people, it's as normal as anything else, you know? I mean, I, I'm praying a hundred times a day about a million different things. Or, and it's not, I'm not always asking for something, although a lot of the times I am. But, you know, <laughs> just thanking, thanking the Lord, thanking for this beautiful day, thank you for this beautiful view. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. Yes. You know, and so it's just normal to us. But um, but you're right. And we don't often see it on TV shows. And even in this first episode, we see the mom and dad intuitively know there's something wrong with their daughter, Carrie. They know there's something bothering her. Something's going on. And while they're worried about her, they say, let's hold hands and pray for her. And they pray for her right there and then on the couch in their sitting room. They just call it in in prayer in the name of the Lord, too. You know, so um, I think that people of faith will really find it meaningful to see that and normal and normal <laughs> and normal, normal. And, and um and anybody else that is interested in watching the show will relate to the great storylines and the family dynamics and you know all of that there's plenty for everybody but i think particularly for yeah. a, a christian audience to see a church going family is going to be very meaningful and now are all the Christian, I mean, are all the characters Christian? Are there some that aren't? So you're dealing with that dynamic? We're dealing with that dynamic. And we're also dealing like even within the family, we discover that some of the kids have turned away from their faith, you know, and and I think that we all know what that feels like, too, you know. And so there's very relatable storylines for people here. And uh, it deals with, you know, the first seasons dealing with infidelity. But, you know, we've got uh, substance addiction coming later. We have different illnesses. There's people dealing with guilt over accidents. And, you know, there's a children born out of wedlock. I mean, there's it's. It's normal, normal families, it's normal <laughs> life, you know, and I think when people hear, oh, it's a faith family, they think, oh, it's a bunch of goody two shoes. And this yeah. is just it's just it's just people living normal lives. But when they fall down, when life brings them to their knees, as inevitably life does, you know, there's nobody's going to escape some heartache. Unfortunately, it's just a human condition. But when life brings the Baxters to their knees, they pray. Yes, they do. And real quick, Ted McGinley, I love him. And he plays your husband, John. He's yeah, wonderful, he's, isn't he? I know. He's so good. And Ted really brings such, you know, lovely masculinity. And he's yes. steady, Eddie. You know, it's like this family needs this sort of, he's the he's the compass. You know, he's always knows the right thing to say. And he's He's got great leadership and he was so much fun on the set. He's like a delight to work with, as in fact, everybody was. It was a great young cast. My own daughter, Riley, is in it. She plays my daughter, Erin, on the show. Um, but all the uh, the young actors are lovely, super talented. They're all going to have big careers. And mm -hmm. Kathy Lee Gifford plays a guest role on the show. Her daughter, Cassidy, is in the show. So here we have a family show made yes. for families, for families. And I'm hoping that that, you know, it plays out like a hope opera. So Easter is the season of hope. And Prime Video gave us the Easter launch date. So we're thrilled that March 28th, uh, the Baxters is coming to Amazon's Prime Video. Well, I co-host the show Faith on Film, and we are going to promote this show, The Baxters, and promote you. Thank you, Rama, for being with us today. I really appreciate Thanks, you. Really great to see Lots you. Lots of love. Thank you so much. The Baxters premiering this Easter, March 28th on Amazon Prime. Now, next, we're going to hear from three different people that we were able to interview or Holly was able to interview while we attended uh, the NRB conference in Nashville, Tennessee. NRB or National Religious Broadcasters is a conference where a lot of TV people, radio people, film people, you name it, actors, producers, writers come together to network. Now, that, of course, gave us a huge opportunity to pull them in and interview them. Uh, the first one we're going to hear from is Brett Varble, who uh, is uh, starring in a new series available on Great American Family called County Rescue. This is a great series uh, having to do with first responders. Uh, so we're going to go to the trailer, and then from there we're going to go on to Holly interviewing Brett Varble, along with a couple others after that. Okay, we work 24-hour shifts around the clock. Got to be ready for anything. Welcome to County Rescue. Hey, I'm Danny. I'm Tim. Is he your first day too? 100%. They're gonna be nice to us, right? If you're five minutes early, you're late. Get in my office now. 
<laughs> Gotta love shaving cream balloons. Seems like we have some things in common. Isn't it incredible what these people can do? Booyah! <laughs> I'm impressed. Be strong, keep your cool, and serve, serve well. Will do, Chief. County Rescue. Please respond code three. Okay, BP is 180 or 100. Tim, get the oxygen. Are you sure you're cut out for this? I'm not going to quit. But you're safe. Your mother's right here. Thank you so much. No romance in HQ. Oh, oh come you. on! Awesome. Ready to go save some lives? Yes. <laughs> okay, I get to stand by this handsome guy. So uh, I'm like pretending like I'm interviewing, but I'm really just because <laughs> I get to stand by a handsome guy, Brett. Oh, we've interviewed him before, but it's exciting because he's got a new show, a new series. Right. Tell us all about what it's about. County Rescue. So I am so honored, so blessed to be a part of this show. It's called County Rescue, Great American Family. Uh, it's a show about a group of EMTs. Uh, they experience everything from faith, family, to love, and everything in between. Uh, I play the character Andy. I'm the captain of the EMT group. Okay. And so uh, he's a bit of a prankster. I, he's like a little kid in a big boy's body. I mean, that's he's just he's immature. Uh, he loves to pull pranks. He loves family and, and community. But when, when duty calls, when that siren hits, he puts himself in himself in harm's way and he goes to, to save lives. And so that's really what one of the cool aspects of the show is that um, you see uh, every, for the main character, she's struggling with what's my purpose in life? Has God really called me to this? Am I doing what God has asked me to do? Uh, and then you see uh, in, the, in the ensemble, everybody's struggling with different things and we see how faith intersects all of that as well. Um, it's a show I think that's for the whole family. Uh, it's going to bring hope to everybody that watches it. It's a really exciting show. Okay, Ham, you filmed already the first season, yeah, right? Yeah, so we got the first five episodes filmed. Oh, okay. It's so uh, it's so great. It's going to be available in February uh, on Great American Pure Flix, and then also airing weekly uh, on Great American Family, the the cable station, okay, as well. And uh, if people love it and support it, well, maybe we'll have season two. Maybe maybe that'll become We're a reality. We're gonna make sure they have season That's two right. because we want you to support it. Where can people like go to find out about it? So they can go to GreatAmericanFamily.com uh, to find. Find out more. We're on Instagram, Great American Family, okay. Great American Pure Flix, uh, and even the, our County Rescue Instagram page. You can follow me on Instagram at Brett Varvel, uh, and I'm, I'm constantly posting about it. I love this show. I want oh. as many people to see it as possible. Okay, I'm going to tell you. My son um, was a paramedic firefighter oh, great. in Orange County, in Newport Beach, actually, in that yeah. whole area. But before that, he was an EMT in Orange County, and he saw some amazing things. Yeah. He was in a gunfight fire. I mean, there was stuff that happened where he was at yeah. in the in Inland Empire at that time, yeah. and this is years ago, but I heard some of those stories. Yeah. And some of the, they're not light stories. It's like, no. oh, you're just picking up people that, you know, can't breathe or something. And that's, just... and that's something that we really wanted to do with the show. Like, we, this is our best depiction of what real EMTs yes. go through every day. And we know that it's probably going to pale in comparison to the real life horrors that they do see. But we wanted to create the show as a way to honor those people. These are the first responders who, they see the worst of the yes, worst. they do. And then they have to deal with it. Yes. And so, and that's part of the, the, the complexity of the show is that what do you do with those horrific moments? What do you right. do when you can't save the person? Right. Uh, how do you wrestle with that? And so the show goes through all of that and so much more. And so it's, it's in, in a small way, it's our way to honor those people mm -hmm. and just to say thank you yes. uh, for putting themselves into those situations for us. And these days, it's more dangerous than ever before. Absolutely. And they're the ones showing up at the shootings. They're Absolutely. the ones showing up in the, in the midst of, you know, people, you know, you know, bombs and everything else going right. up. I mean, these days it really is. I'm not trying to over dramatize, but it is. Yeah. And I remember the stories even he told before he became a firefighter paramedic. That's when he was EMT. And it was like, wow, Adam, how can you do that? And he goes, mom, that, you know, that's part of the job. It's part, part of, of what the we job. do. So I know you're playing an actor and playing that, but still, isn't yeah. it fun to take on that role? It's, and it's, it really is an honor, too. I think that that was something that um, when we, we had real life EMTs yes. on set to help us with, yes. like, just to make sure that the show looked real, you know, yes. and that we were doing things authentically. And to hear some of the stories that they shared, um, it, it just, it humbled me. It humbled me, and I, I, we, we, all of us, I speak for the whole cast when I say this, but we tried our best to, to make it relatable to the audience. Yes. Uh, and I, cause I think that's an interesting thing about the show. Not everybody is an EMT, 
but we all ask the same questions. Yes. We all go through the same things in life, and I think that that's something that the show will really draw people in and create conversations in the family. Because like I said, it is a show that the whole family can watch. Okay. Anything else you're involved in? Any other movies we can look for you? Because we, well, you're last time I salted you with something. Remember, I, I mentioned a movie called Disciples in the Moonlight. That's right. So that's I am right. so, and this may be my first like televised way to say this, but we a have scoop, a scoop. We have a distribution deal. It's going to be coming to the theaters you in do? July. Yeah. So Disciples in the Moonlight. Be on the lookout for it. It's such an exciting project. I, my heart and my passion has been in this movie for a long time. I believe it could could be the start of an awakening in our culture. Okay, now Brett, you have to come back on the show. Oh, we, we're you do going realize, to. Right? We're going to. You have to come back Absolutely. and do a whole half hour on this. And Absolutely. Absolutely. Trailer and do the whole thing. Absolutely. And, I mean, we're gonna make a big deal out of this. Absolutely. Okay? Yeah. I'm excited for you because that was something you were your yeah. heart. You I, and really I, and at done. that time, I didn't know what, what was gonna happen. We wow. were still in post, but the deal is done. It's happening. It's coming to theaters in July. Oh, God's blessing you in so many oh, ways. Praise God. Okay, well, listen, you guys, be sure and support the show. Again, where <laughs> yeah. can you see it? Uh, Great American Pure Flicks or Great American Family. Go to greatamericanfamily.com. They have a channel finder where you can put your zip code in yeah. to see where it's playing on your cable station. Okay, and then your personal like Instagram. Or and then come uh, follow me at Brett Varvel on, or you can search me on Facebook at Brett Varvel as well. Yeah, and uh, don't be creepy about it, but you can follow him. Or <laughs> you can follow me. It's okay. <laughs> Brett, thank you so much. Thank you so thank much. You. We Good love to see you. you. God bless you. Praying God for bless you. you. And can't wait to interview you again about your next exciting thank project. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay. Okay, we've got something fun to talk about, all right? Fun and honestly important because it's a ministry. It's a special ministry for your kids and for people that maybe you know. With me is TJ. TJ, tell us about the ministry you're doing and you've got going and where. Well, thank you very, very much. I appreciate you giving me a few minutes. Um, so we're Kids Outdoor Zone, KOZ, Kids Outdoor Zone. And we're a ministry for the men of the church with a mission. And the mission for those men are the fatherless boys and the fathers and sons in the church and in the community. So we give the men of the church all the curriculum, all the training, all the material they need, and they take one Saturday a month to get the boys in the community who don't have dads and the fathers and sons together, and they do an activity with them. It's an outdoor ministry, so they're teaching them fishing, hunting, tools, hiking, all kinds of things outside. Holly, what we found is that half of our boys in this world don't have a dad in the home. Wow. The average kid today is 40 minutes a week outside, 70 hours a week in front of a screen. And so we need something to put men in those lives. And so men like the outdoors. Men yeah, need something yes. to do. Little boys are excited about the outdoors. And, uh, and that's Kids Outdoor Zone. So this is for a special group of kids or for anyone? Any boy 8 to 18. Okay. So we're a, a boys ministry, a, a men's ministry uh, focused on the boys in the community and in the church. And is it for like foster kids as well? Or is it just, it's families? I mean, I'm just trying to see who would say, oh, I can do that, who would be included? So any, uh, we have a lot of foster families that they're, they bring their boys to think. the Saturday groups. Yeah. Um, we have a lot of single moms who bring their boys, who recognize I need my boys around some men. And, uh, and so, okay, I'm glad you said that. I was hoping you would say that because I was a single mom oh, and even though you. they had a dad and their dad saw them every other week, whatever, I still had two boys that still would have loved to have been and do things, you know, and it's interesting because when I was at the time I was at the church, now they're grown and, you know, but at the time I was in a church and a couple of the dads who had kids that were their friends would take them and go do things like motocross or go do things. With. Beautiful. And it's so important. I know the importance of, especially for single moms out there, to have a ministry like this that your sons can participate in. Oh, the value. I mean, everyone else too, but I can speak to that. Well, we have such a heart for the single moms. I was doing some interviews for a video that we're doing on some stories for our program and uh, and I had three single moms that I interviewed three different days yeah. and during the interviews each one of those moms in a still quiet moment no kids around just me and them and talking about their story they just sighed and 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 cried a little bit about just how hard it is to be a single mom with boys yes and yes. Uh, and so and and there's good men in the churches yes. you know and and so we just want to give the men in the church a tool and this will change a man you get this isn't about stacking chairs or parking cars this is about speaking into the life of a young man and it'll change a man in in ways that 
very few things will because of what he's doing right. in the lives of those boys. So bless you for being a single mom and that neighbors who did motocross. Yes. How yes. cool and is that? My son, you know, developed the friendship and his father, would, Tyler's father, would take them out and do that with him. And it was every month they would take him out and take him to different lakes and areas and do the motocross and racing. And it, it he was, was doing KOZ. He, he was. He was. He was. He was. And then there was another dad who took kids camping. And I felt like even though they had a dad, busy sure. working, couldn't always do those things with him, but would take them and do stuff. Sure. It still was important for them to have other mentors in their life. And that youngest son who did that with their kids, I mean, he kept that friendship with that boy and his father for years and years and years. And it was important. He's still a friend today. So it's important. It develops those it friendships. So Where can they find out about KOC? So you can get information at kidsoutdoorzone.com, K-I-D-S, kidsoutdoorzone, Z-O-N-E.com. You can get all the information on how to start a group, where you can find a group in your area. They're all across the country, all around the world. And uh, and link to our YouTube channel and our videos and all the good stuff. Oh, well, thank you so much for being on Faith on Film. We appreciate it. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you, too. With me is Nicole C. Mullins, and this woman is special. I mean, I've been following her career for many, many years, and she has got a new album out that she's created that's very unique and different. Nicole, tell us about it. Yes, thank you very much. And, and we do go way back. I mean, we're we seasoned. We're not old. We're just we're seasoned. seasoned. Okay, but I'm working on what, matter of fact, is about to be released. It's called War Songs, and it is a series, and we've started with Psalm 91, and there are five songs that actually teaches and declares through song, through you saying it, the whole chapter of Psalm 91. So five songs that goes through all 16 verses. Yes. How unique. Yes. And then, and then this is five songs an album. Is it other songs well, on there as well? On that particular one, then on the um, back side of the album, or actually on the downside after you've gotten through the fifth song, all of the songs will have a performance track for you to sing along, whether it's you and your youth group, whether it's you as a family, whether it's wow. you as um, a women's group, whatever it is, for you to declare the word on top of it to make sure that now you've memorized it. So, um, And we also have, um, on each of those songs, I have uh, friends in different parts of the world, Someone is, uh, they've translated it into Hebrew, so you'll hear a version of her doing it in Hebrew. Someone else in French, someone else in Chichiwa, someone else in Yoruba, someone else in uh, Portuguese, someone else in Spanish, so that we can all declare the word of God through song um, and, and, and say what he said over ourselves so and our families. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most, most high, high shall abide, abide under the shadow of the, the Almighty. Almighty. Or he that dwelleth. In the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow, under the shadow of the Almighty. Yeah, so Keep yes, going. I know, I know. I love it. Keep going, girl. Yes, I know. So yes, oh, thank you. Then we have a, we have another one though. Then it goes okay, into okay. so thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. Mm. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. So yes, so yes, so yes. So, but, 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 so let me tell you really quickly before I forget. So after that, so after the war songs, just so you know, I've also been just blessed to be able to have a feature part in a, a film that's coming out oh. called The American Miracle. That's coming out next year, but I need you to be looking for that right now. I was so blessed to be able to play a part of a, a great woman. She's a hero. Um, a she role that I didn't even know about until they introduced the part to me. Her name is Elizabeth Freeman, and back in the day, um, she was the first African American here in the United States who actually gained her freedom. She fought for her freedom as far as through the courts, and in, in Massachusetts, they gave it to her. The judge and the jury said absolutely, and she was the first African American almost 100 years before everyone else wow. because she asked, and then subsequently, two years later, all the slaves in Massachusetts were actually freed. I didn't know this, and that was a 19, no, that was in 1783. So, um, thank you. I just want to see your beautiful lips. She's been my auntie. I want to see your beautiful lips. She's my auntie mama. <laughs> I want to see her lips and her but, face. But I, but I want you to know that that's a film that's coming out too, so that's something that I've worked on, and I'm working on a song that's going to be a part of the credits as well. Okay, where can they find out about these things? Where can they support you and keep going and find well, out? Well, they can go to my website, NicoleCMullen.com. And I'm sure if you Google the American Miracle, let's see if there is an ID for it. I have some of my producers back here. Doug, Doug, yeah. is there a site where people can learn about more about the American Miracle? Yes. Is there a site? Yep, yep. Okay. Right on the back okay. here. Okay, right here. Um, I don't have my cheaters on. 
We're, okay, there we go to the American Miracle dot movie. Okay, it, that's the American Miracle dot movie okay and I get a chance to be in it as well and you'll see my handsome hubby in there for a little bit too so you gotta watch it okay now you have to come back on before it gets released absolutely on show, absolutely and we'll talk about it and promote it and do a whole show around absolutely. it okay with a trailer and everything absolutely I'm excited that you're doing it. is this yes. your first film or have you done others this is my first I'll say real real film real real film yeah Oh, and here real. we go. So, yeah. And guess so. who's still here even in the dark? Because they're saying it's time yeah. to go. Because we are the light of the world. We are the light of the world. <laughs> through We're Jesus. The the because okay. through Jesus. Nicole, again, where can people find out this album? I want them to get okay. it and support This you. album, you can find it wherever you listen to, to music, but also definitely go to my website, Nicole C. Mullen, M-U-L-L-E-N dot com, and we'll have it there as well. And please okay. pray for her. Pray for the album. Pray yeah. for the success of this. Pray for her career. This is the word yeah. going in song, which yes. there's nothing more powerful than the word in song. Mm -hmm that goes out and to yes. many and people may not know the yeah. scripture but they may sing this song ah. and the word gets in their spirit absolutely it was psalm 91 was was my mother who passed it was one of her oh. favorites she memorized the whole thing yeah i know the power of memorization mm. and when she at the latter days didn't have a memory couldn't think the nurse came in mm. she said what's your name she didn't mm. know what's your daughter's name she didn't know it she said i know you love the bible and she said and she started psalm 91 wow. and my mother said the whole thing and that nurse said it's taught me that even yeah, when thanks. people don't consciously know the word is in them Okay. So there's power wow. in that word. Yes, there is. Power. Yes, I love there you is. We you support as well. You. We Thank support you. you so much in you everything too. you do. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Blessings to you as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed these interviews that we were able to capture at uh, the NRB conference in Nashville, Tennessee. A very special moment for me was when Nicole C. Mullins sang. She sang on our show. Isn't that wonderful? I enjoyed it so much, and I'm pretty sure you did, too. Uh, we, uh, by the way, will have more interviews for you from NRB uh, coming up over the next few weeks. We were able to just, like I said, get a whole lot of interviews with people there. So uh, just keep watching our show, and you'll be able to uh, watch some wonderful interviews done by some very special people that were there at NRB. Uh, I do have a very special announcement for you today. We have finally launched our website. That's right, we launched our website and I want you to visit it. Uh, just go to uh, faithunfilmedtv.com. That's faithunfilmedtv.com. You got to make sure it's not faithunfilmedtv, it's faithunfilmedtv.com. Uh, you will uh, find that we've got some great beginnings of a, of a website. We're going to be adding more and more to it as the, as the weeks go by, including uh, a lot of interviews, celebrity interviews that Holly has done over the years with some big Hollywood celebrities, as well as her movie reviews on Hollywood movies. So lots coming to you uh, from our website. So just go check it out, faithonfilmtv.com. Uh, also, don't forget to join us uh, on our YouTube channel. Just go check out our YouTube channel. That's uh, youtube.com forward slash at faith on film tv that's youtube.com forward slash at faith on film tv uh, again we have lots of shows from the past there and every week we'll be adding new shows so you don't want to miss any of those shows and while you're there hit that little uh, alarm uh, I forget, what do they call that a little notification bell that way you get notified every time a new show comes up well we have uh, finished our show for today i really hope you enjoyed it again and we'll see you next week Write to us at faithonfilmtv at gmail.com. That's faithonfilmtv at gmail.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at faithonfilmtv. Also, go to our YouTube channel, Faith on Film TV, and hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications on our latest Faith on Film shows.